What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Supra GT from Motive. Before we fire this one up, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. It's free, it's easy, and it's the best way to help us help you get into the right pieces of equipment regardless of your skill level or playing style. Plus, at 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to paint myself blue and release our top five blue bowling balls of all time video. So while you're down there, be sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out. The Super GT from Motive features a little bit of old and a little bit of new. Inside this bright green offering is the Quadfire V2 core. This is a slightly modified version of one of Motive's longest running cores. So on the outside is the new Propulsion XRT Pearl cover finished to 5500 LSP. Notably, the finish on this piece out of the box feels extremely extremely smooth when compared to other Pearl options. For the layout, I went with a four and a half by three and a half by three and a half 2LS layout. As I've struggled to find layouts that match up well with me and the low end Motive Pearls, I went right up the middle with this one. The four and a half inch pin to PAP distance is my most reliable and the other two measurements look to maximize the design intent as Motive intended. And on the lanes, the Super GT was pretty underwhelming until it wasn't. I'm really not one to modify surface during these reviews, but I knew from the first shot that I was going to have to knock the shine off of this one to see a shape that was even somewhat close. Sure, the Super GT probably shouldn't be used on fresh conditions, but to see a piece back up at 40 feet as much as this one did was truly stunning. However, once I hit the Super GT with a 4000 pad, it was an entirely different story. The move was much more controlled and the Super actually looked like it had an 040 differential and not an 012. When I think of how to best use pieces like this one, I find the best shapes when I keep the lines in front of me. And once the Super matched up with the lane surface more effectively, that look was almost perfect to my eye. However, getting there was not easy. If I didn't understand surface and was presented with this out of box performance, I'm not sure I would be too happy with my purchase decisions. So let this be a heads up, I suppose. If you plan on adding the Motive Super GT to your arsenal, make sure you're ready to change the surface to match your game. No layout will be a good enough substitute for this, so be sure to add that pack of Avalon pads to your cart before you order. And when you do that, you might as well add in a Crimson Jackal and a Pride Dynasty to round out your three ball arsenal. The Pride has been one of the most versatile pieces of the last year, and the Crimson Jackal is a great step down piece from the Pride. The Super GT will complement these others as that next step down, so rather than moving further inside, you can stay in your sweet spot with three pieces as your league night progresses. Now jumping to our cross-brand comparisons, I first took a look at the Exponent Pearl from 900 Global, and here you can see how big of a difference a lower RG and slightly stronger cover can make. This one reads the friction earlier, and then with its lower RG, the change in direction is much quicker, which allows the ball to roll sooner. This piece is similar to the GT, but will consistently be a full zone stronger. Then I took a look at the Tundra Blue Fire, and even though on paper these two pieces seem similar, the shape provided by the Tundra is just much more aggressive, almost all of which I would contribute to the cover stock. Simply put, HK22 Pearls are good, and the 1500 compound finish matches up very well with the low differential core, so those with a higher ball speed will likely match up more effectively with this Tundra. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with the Super GT for Motive. The first is bowlers who bowl on wood lanes or any high friction lane surface. If you're constantly battling too much friction, the Super GT will help you blend that without needing to get too far inside. You'll still likely have to adjust the surface to what works best for you, but 4000 grit should be close for most players. The second recommendation is for rev dominant players. Similar to some other Motive releases from the last couple of years, the more I tried to throw this piece like EJ Tackett, the better the shape got. I know Motive doesn't do this intentionally, but it sure makes sense why he matches up so well with their stuff, and if you're anything like that, you'll likely see good results out of this one. So even though the out-of-box performance wasn't what I had hoped for, once you match up with the Surface GT, it could be what you need to race to the top of the standing sheet. And you could pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Ryan Shafransky for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Western Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. But as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.